A big money boost is coming for research hoping to make a difference in the fight against domestic violence. George Mason University is receiving nearly $5 million to develop an app that would make it easier for doctors and nurses to detect bruises and injuries on victims regardless of their skin tone. News 4 first told you about this technology back in 2022. New today, Mauricio Casillas checked back in with the team developing this important tool and found out how they hope that it's going to address health care disparities. So as you can see, it's a lot more apparent, the edges of different skin lesions. That you the truth and the trauma behind it sometimes needs the right light for it to be illuminated. Dr. Catherine Scafidi has spent years developing a way to detect bruising more easily on dark skin tones in the hopes of helping more victims of domestic violence. She and her team use alternate light sources with specific wavelengths, which she says is five times better than white light for identifying signs of physical abuse a critical first step for victims to get the help they need. If you can't see bruises, you can't document them, you can't photograph them. And then ultimately, the, it impacts their health and legal outcomes associated with the violence they're experiencing. This month, George Mason University announced it received a nearly $5 million donation to advance this bruise detection research. And in fact, this box is what the AI is seeing in there. Dave Latanzi is working on an AI component that studies the database of pictures the researchers have compiled. How do we teach computers how to look at images of bruises and extract information and learn from them. The team is developing an app that would let doctors and nurses take photographs of bruises and learn important information about these wounds. They have an application on their cell phone that they take the picture and they want to know, am I seeing a bruise? What can I learn about that bruise, right? So how old is it? What was the date that it happened? What caused that injury to occur? The app is still in development and it could be a few years before it's fully operational. The team thinks this can be a game changer when it comes to providing care for victims, regardless of where they are. If you're in the middle of nowhere, there is nobody who's trained to actually be able to look at the victims of violence to actually help them. And this is where really the technology can help. Technology that shines an empowering light for all survivors.